As the Lake Oswego School District deals with a case of coronavirus, districts in our area are planning for the virus to hit their schools as well. Devin Haskins is following this angle for us. Devin, you've been in contact with a lot of school districts trying to find out how they're going to get ahead of this. What are they telling you? Yeah, a lot of the districts I talked to today were having meetings coming up with these plans. And at Lake Oswego, this district there shut down Forest Hills Elementary until Wednesday and asked staff who had contact with the employee who has coronavirus to stay home for the quarantine 14 days. Instead of students walking through the hallways with backpacks on, there's an industrial cleaning crew wearing full body suits. Having them out of school for a couple extra days is not a bad thing. You know, get it all taken care of and then they're safe. And the uh, teachers are safe and everyone. Students are spending the next two days out of school while it's being disinfected for any coronavirus germs. It, it feels weird just to know that it's at my school. Um, this is naturally a very scary and worrisome situation. And we certainly have had community members and parents express that fear. And we understand that completely. We Lake Oswego Superintendent Dr. Laura De La Cruz says it's been a busy weekend since she found out one of her employees has coronavirus. We've been getting our, our buses are cleaned. We've been we've disinfected every school building as well, uh, in addition to central office. And then we've been building um, responsible communications that are fact based and in alignment again with CDC and public health officials recommendations and guidelines. Schools around the area are preparing for canceled days, just like Lake Oswego, which might mean learning from home. Beaverton, Hillsboro, Portland, Gresham Barlow, and Jesuit High School are among the many districts looking into or developing a plan to implement a digital-based learning model should school need to be canceled for a few days. Evergreen School District in Vancouver says they'll do what the state recommends at that time. And Salem Kaiser and David Douglas say they won't turn to digital learning. Now, districts like Salem Kaiser say it wouldn't be fair to the students who don't have access to the internet to go to digital learning. 70% of their students are on uh, free and reduced lunch. David Douglas says it'd be easier to make up a day or two at the end of the year. Laurel. Thank you, Devin.